quite a number of people. Thanks for coming this morning. Um, it is with a little sadness that I want to say a couple of words to you. I don't know, although I rather suspect that tomorrow there might be a declaration that the numbers were against us. Um, uh, I am prepared to accept and to move on. And uh, I wanted to not miss the opportunity because if it happens tomorrow, say, I will be out and I might not have said a word of thank you for the provisioning of so many of your expertise and experiences that made me a better minister than when I came. Uh, just to let you know that um, the process will still go on in its fourth and final stage where the CEO of, uh, and the chairman are going to make certain decisions and probably hammer out the process towards a final declaration. From all indications and the results of the recount and everything else, the PPP has beaten us by some 15,000 votes. We would like a soft landing. There is tremendous tension out there. Some people feel that the loss of an election is a death penalty. It is not a death penalty. In modern democracies, as we are building here in Guyana, you went into the race, you lose. If you had to do a replay on a monitor to find out whether you lose, that is like a long replay, because a replay in the context of elections is a recount, and a recount of some sort. And that what we had is largely the replay. People were saying that it was messed up and this and that. The international body scheme had some very serious statements to make. So the president, and I agree with him, ordered a recount. And this is where we are. There are certain credibility issues and so on, but that is just going to complicate it. I suppose the chairperson wants to recount the numbers. So it means then that uh, it is the end uh, of the government, the 11th government. Uh, so it is with. Um, this I wanted to tell you that I was very honored, and it was a pleasure, of course, being with you as uh, the various heads of units within the Ministry of Public Security. You know, we have changed it from Home Affairs and uh, divided a portion of the very extensive powers that it had into a citizenship ministry and a public security ministry. I must say that even though a portion of it was um, uh, severed and went to another ministry, the work here was still plenty. And uh, police, fire, prisons, KANU, complaints authority, and the other units uh, like the laboratory, forensic lab, and so on. <coughs> And yes, community policing groups and a whole heap of other things was a lot for an administrator to manage. But an administrator's work is made easier by the quality and competencies of the actual unit heads and the staff within those units. And though there will always be problems, that's human nature. That's a natural course of things. Uh, we manage to rise above them, resolve them quickly, and move on. I really can't say of, of any big uh, problems that I've had with the staff here. There were a couple who would come and say that things are not happening in their favor, and I could understand that. Decisions, when they're made sometimes, you have to affect certain people and have to be favorable to others. And in a 
process of um, managing and doing the public relations hereafter, you are going to find that some people might not like what has happened. But that's all right. That is totally in order. But largely, I have found you an extremely professional and uh, well-organized bunch to the extent that my five years here have been extraordinary, wonderful experience. It is one of the better experiences I've had. As a matter of fact, it, it may be one of my best experiences. As a politician, you thrive to be one who could be in a position to ensure the ordering of society, to ensure that you make a difference from what was, and to do it legitimately and with efficiency. And uh, you have helped me in ensuring so many things were done. We improved um, our community policing groups across the country. More assets came in for them. They're doing a wonderful job, especially the Amerindian CCPGs um, in, in the frontier territories, helping the police in very porous borders. Borders know that are all the more important because of the ICG matter that will be heard soon, but also because of migration from Venezuela to Guyana because of the bad circumstances. And so we can't have policemen and army all over the place, but we do have settlements. And these settlements have got, gotten their CPGs, community policing groups that are the Citizen Security Program. That was a major, major success under my administration. And thank you very much, Clement Henry, and your staff members. So many things happened there. And uh, the country is the better off for it. And that's what you do as a minister. There were times when we had to tweak that program to ensure that we get some benefits of other things. And we've done that. I think our police is far better for it. Our fire department is better for it. Our prisons. So it is important then that we appreciate that. Forensic laboratory. Delon, thanks for continuing the good work there and ensuring that that lab with its DNA capacity testing and so on is going to take this country forward all these little microscopic things. See if you could see a, a COVID virus from here. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <laughs> and this thing has really dented our spirits all around. And um, we'll be in bad shape. But all the good work there too, which we commend. Um, the treaty offices around? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, treaty officer. We have managed to do wonderful jobs progressive exponentially in relation to dealing with matters of treaties and getting people like this Rambo only for corrupt, and I believe this, corrupt magistrates throwing him out. It is corruption. We still have it in certain institutions of our life. He should have been committed and stay there in the jail for all kind of magic that's happened in this place. And especially when you get money like that, so six, seven, three million U.S. is worth. So he, but we also did well in other spheres of activity. The trafficking in persons team, straight taxes department, camera. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the juvenile justice which was a, one thing that I had promised myself that we will get back under my administration. It was lingering in the air for, since 2007, is it? 2003. And somehow some people did not want to have it passed. 
of course, you have to use your little vice president um, aggression to ensure that some other ministries, which did not want it to be passed because they like their fiefdoms, as I've already told you, in this life, people like to hold on to their fiefdom and compartmentalize positionings so that they can do whatever is to their benefit there in that way. But as society gets more complicated, just like we have moved from the communal harmony of ancient tribal systems to now the very sophisticated metropolis, you have to get evolved with systems that are not going to be just fiefdoms. You've got to be integrated. And that juvenile justice bill did exactly that. And so you had to burst out of these um, mentalities and mindsets. And we managed that. Had some trouble with people like Anna and her team and a couple of others. As to how successful now it moves on will we depend on the professionalism of the staff and of course guidance from the new minister. But I would want you to continue the good work that we have started from all the units. We got big kudos from trafficking in persons um, section. Every year we have moved up and we have stayed number one, number one, number one. Hopefully it doesn't go down back. And thanks very much. What was the previous guy's name? Profit. 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 Yes. And so we want to say that this is um, a difficult time for me somewhat emotional, but this is how life's journey goes. At some point in time, you have to make a departure, because in politics, you obviously get the winner and get the loser. I will want to tell you that officially it is not done yet. We are into the fourth phase, and the fourth phase of the thing means that the CEO has to give his report to the chairperson, and then the chairperson will make the declaration. I understand that the CEO is thinking that the number of boxes that didn't have any documents in them ought to be subtracted from the actual numbers that we have now. That can create another gridlock between two very strong constitutional officers, the chairperson and the CEO who advises the chairperson. Where that will take us, I hope to God, it does not get into lawlessness and all that. I've just spoken to the police commissioner. More or less everything will be under control. And I hope that there is a soft landing, as it were, by fire, some other mediation process or the court system or some, some. But I rather suspect that a declaration will be done maybe before the week is done. And uh, once that declaration is done, my ministerial portfolio comes to an abrupt end as soon as another president is declared. Our presidency, our ministerialship comes to an end. And so I might not be allowed to come in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I've had good relationships with the... By, by the way, that's the party I originally came from. So you know everybody here. Some of your big brother still, quite frankly, they still regard you highly. But in any event, it would be inappropriate for me to come, and so I decided I'll do this today and to thank you all for making my life an extraordinary um, easy one because of you taking on the task of helping me with whatever reports. Every time I ask a PS. And she has been very, very efficient with that and proficient too in getting the work done so I could go to cabinet, I could argue the case, I could go before the president, I could argue the case there, or also before the international forum that we deal with and argue the case there. It is very important. Even our research department has helped me plenty with a lot of things, and I'm 
we're glad that we did have a research department. I inherited that, and I'm glad that you get, did some work. And as a matter of fact, you should compile those work because that is that achievements already accomplished. So a new minister come in. Well, here it is. We had a report on tint. We had a report on guns and armored vehicles and this and all the research that you've done. You should compile them and keep them. You know, as I've always said, them white people countries developed. You know why? Because they've had an archival capacity. Archival capacity. That is so fundamental in developed states. So that you don't have to go reinvent the wheel. So COVID-19 common. What, what was it that we did when this problem occurred? And they go there. Bright people have recommended this as a solution. And they get it. We, in the brown and black countries, that we're going to reinvent the wheel all over and one set of confusion. And then that is what sometimes Walter Rodney talked about that. And that is why we must keep our records, keep our research material with us within my profession. When I was in England doing that stint at the University of London, um, as part of the Young Lawyers Scholarship Program, University of London, at the British Museum, fantastically, with Karl Marx and so on, studied in the early the 1800s and so on, uh, 1860s. Uh, up to now, the people got there. All the Argosy newspaper that used to be printed in 1905 in Guyana. Everything they got there. The Mirror newspaper that came out from 1953. The New Nation. Everything they got, they collected. And they put it on something. What is it called? Microfiche. Yes. And then you can go in and peep in the thing there, and you see it coming up. Everything. We we come upon a situation, we recommend and we don't do it, and we throw in the people. And then the story happened 24 years after a new generation. People who had decided this, they gone and dead, they, the people be dead with them too. The new generation and it comes up back with confusion because they did not and cannot find the material to guide them. And as a lawyer, I'll tell you that is what the legal profession is all about. You get a problem? What case you think? And then you go to research it in the index and you go to find a case that is similar and you apply it. And that is why lawyers find resolve these problems because that's part of the training. The law books, since they start printed in 1761, we get something here. An identical case, square and point. Yeah, this is the law. If for any good reason it should not be the law, well then if you're reasoning why it shouldn't be done, the law is changed. So I like the research department doing what it is doing. Same thing with all the scientific departments here that we got, forensic lab and so on. Make sure that you keep your records. Records is what is important. Records will be for the benefit of the next generation. And be honest when keeping records. It must be with integrity, otherwise we interfere with the system, we stupidness. We will always get wrong results. But once there is a pure one filled with integrity, and that's the research or that is the scientific thing, we will be there. And I urge of all of you to do that. We are going to be a better place also because of the oil revenues. This election was one part largely to the winner of those high stakes. And um, that is why the tensions and the anxieties and so were heavy, real heavy. The campaigning was heavy. And right up to now, people are saying that this one snaps and slits up both there and both there. And some people mingle that they both are not All manner of things.
But the result has proven that the indeed certain things went wrong, and then a whole new set of things were wrong. So we have to make major decisions. But I think we're going to get it right, ultimately. Um, the president has been doing a, a, a great job in ensuring that these processes are gone through so that we can have a final result from the Constitution and And when that is done, of course, we all live with it. This is a country, my dear, whereby all of us got to live here. We ain't going back to India. The police set and we ain't going back to India. Then the black set going back. West Africa or wherever we come from. It's here we got to live, work, play, and pray. And so even sometimes when we got high sentiments that we get robbed at this election, from one side or the other, we have to say, well, fine, what is the solution and what is the end game? What is the end game without violence to each other? Let me go to court. Let me go and talk it over in a dialogue. But I do not want lawlessness to come to it. And if I can leave that as the message with you, that is the most important. Some side of the coin, some side of the, the spectrum, we want to go out and be honest with I will not be part of it. I have seen too much things. I am going to be 60 soon. These elections make me think that that 60th or here will be my 65th. Go <laughs> five years. The energy you dump in the campaign. And then the energy that you are drained of during the last 107 days awaiting the results. It has been stressful. Very stressful. As a minister, and especially a public security minister. When the bar settlement and the police chopping and the killing of one person, I said, Jesus, what, 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 what's going to happen here? And a lot of people don't understand that these things can blow up just out of nothing. And the only way they do not blow up is when people, right thinking and reasonable people, become the situation. Okay, let's move on. And that is why I am urging that we have to move on. Um, and uh, in that process, it does seem that certain things will be the outcome. I might not be here again. And so I'm urging you to carry on with your lives as civilized and as, you know, the wonderful life that you have had. And you've done many things during the course of the last five years. And I want you, and for those, I have asked, uh, by this book called Stephen Pinker's book, Enlightenment Now, it shows that notwithstanding the temporary crises the countries will suffer, in the long run they are developing, they are enjoying better lives all the time. The more roads that have happened under our, the better airport that have happened under our administration, the better the lab, the, 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 the better organizations with treaties with America and all the other countries that we have done, the, the, so many things. The new infrastructure is a result of so many police stations. We are developing all the time. And so yes, you, well, it's going up the hill, you'll have a little problem because an election is called, but then you go up hill, you go up hill. And he's laid it out there, the world has developed. There might be spots that have halted, but Guyana is going to rise rapidly. If this administration is still in, or that, if the other one. Because we will still have to play a role as opposition members, guiding at the parliamentary level a number of issues and checking and being that check and balance. And we are a formidable force in any side of the time. So it is important that you do not dismay, you do not feel bad and despair. 
So I want to leave you with that and to say thanks very much um, for all that you've done. Thank you for making my job an easy one, and I hope that I did not make yours a difficult one. I try as best as possible to be open. I just heard from five very senior men, commissioner, and fire chief, and all that. And I'm proud to say what I heard from them, that they indicated that I was very open and I do not interfere in people's lives. You go and do your thing. You know laboratory what more than me. What me got to tell you what to do? You know to do the research better than me, or at least, you know, I, I you, that is your section here, you do that. Trafficking humans, how to go and do this and do that. How to make the decision which police station is to be built or to be rehabilitated. Clement, tell me you know that better than me. And so you allow them, but if it is so egregiously bad, when you look at it, hey, hey, this is that corruption, this is that corruption. Then is when you enter the realm as a minister. But you got some people who, why you put this thing there? Why, why not? And, why, and they make lives difficult. And then you got to be turning your back. I don't like that. My dad is a headmaster, and I taught for one year under my dad. It was like that. Meaning, allow the teachers to go. Once they write up their notes of lessons, and they go and lecture on time and this and that. They allow the teacher. He got the style. Follow, we got the style. Style make up the man. And if that person got a style, allow And they get lots of benefits from it. Rather than calling him every day. I understand that you're not doing your work properly. This is just a complete, complete, complete. Now, I hope that you, in the next period of time, five years, whatever, you do have non interference rather than interference. So it is important then that I leave you with all of that. And once again, thank you. You made my job in the last five years a wonderful one. And it will be experiences I will take with me for the rest of my life's journey. Thanks.